Hi, my name is McKenna Martinez, and today I'm going to be talking about the retrodegradation of starches. Retrodegradation is a reaction that takes place when the amylose and amylose pectin chains in cooked, gelatinized starch realign themselves as the cooked starch cools. In order for retrodegradation to occur, gelatinization must first take place. This happens when hydrogen bonds with amylose and water. An example of this would be cooking rice. Amylose is what causes starches to gel, while the function of amylopectin is to swell. When starch is heated and dissolved in water, the crystalline structure of amylose and amylopectin molecules is lost and they hydrate to form a viscous solution. As I mentioned before, a good example of this is rice. Notice that the uncooked rice is hard. This is a half a cup of rice and one cup of water. And now I'm going to microwave it for one minute. After cooking the rice for one minute and letting it set for two minutes, we can now take it out of the microwave. Notice that the rice, after being heated in water, absorbs the water and becomes soft and puffed up. This is gelatinization or hydration of the starch. Retrodegradation happens during storage of starches, such as refrigerating your leftover rice. If the viscous solution is cooled or left at lower temperature for a long enough period, amylose molecules begin to associate, making hydrogen bonds and forming a more crystalline structure. The starch chains interact, expelling water from the polymer network, a process known as scenarios. Retrodegradation is directly related to the staling or aging of bread. Bread staling is not because of loss of water, but rather the crystallization of starch as amylose and amylopectin realign. Sometimes retrodegradation is deliberately used in the making of food products such as crackers. Retrodegraded starch is less digestible because of the starch crystals not being broken down by our stomach enzymes. Retrodegradation is induced by low temperatures, chemical modifications of starch such as high amylose content and polar substances such as salt, sugar, or fat can reduce or enhance retrodegradation. That's all I have. Thank you for watching.